Hi, welcome to Learn and Flutter. And we are in a section about material de design. In the previous video, we looked at a basic introduction to what material design is and the material app widget. In this video, the second part of this section, we're going to be looking at a scaffold widget. Now, to understand the scaffold widget, um, well, let's go back a little bit. In the previous video, when I introduced the Material App Widget, I said the Material App Widget takes care of a lot of things for you. I said it helps you with your teaming, your color palette, fonts, and all these other sort of things that you might want to apply across your application. Now, in that video, I showed you an analogy of a web application. If you're doing a web application, you'll have a certain type of layout. And then since your web application most likely will have several pages, they're going to have a certain look and feel to them and you want that to be carried through the entire application even if each page might have a different header or, or maybe some pages don't have a footer or a side navigation the overall application should still have a consistent look and that's where your team in com comes in and things like animation your input text box style whether it's rounded or whatever right and of course things like how do you navigate between pages right that's your routing and many other things. So let's take a look now at the Material App Design um, web page again. Here we are on Flutter website, and this is the documentation for the Material App class. And we've read this before, right? We said that Material App widget is an application that uses the material design, and the yada yada is a convenient widget that wraps a number of widgets and this and this and this and so on. And we went through and we saw how to create a simple material app and use it. Now, in addition to the material app itself, um, like I said today, we're going to be learning about the scaffolding widget. And so where does the scaffolding widget fits in to the overall design of the material app widget? Well, you can, let's click on this because since this is what we're going to be doing today, um, scaffolding widget. But before we go over here and read the documentation about the scaffolding widget, allow me to scroll back up to the top. Let me go here to the component widgets um, page, right? To the material components widgets page. And what you can see is it repeats some of what we already know. It says um, it's visual behavior and emotion rich widgets implementing material design guidelines. And I suggest if you don't know about the material design guideline, you should go click it and check it out. But this is um, something that Google came up with before Flutter for web applications and so on and how they should, how they will design all the mobile app, how it should look. And so more and more of Google application, if not all of them by now, uses the material design. And I mentioned in the previous video also, when you think material, Google is really trying to take this idea of material design to um, the as far as possible in terms of when you interact with the widget, it's like you interacting with material, which means they can sort of reflect or bounce or bend or something like that, right? Like you see that how you've interacted with the widget. So we'll see a little bit more of that. And that has to do with the animation. So what are those things that it provides, right? It's application structure and navigation. We mentioned that. Buttons, input selection, dialog boxes, information display, layout. And so scaffolding is part of that layout that we're going to be talking about. And if you talk about think if you think about the application structure and navigation, this is what they're talking about. How should you structure your application? You should have an app bar, and this should look familiar. When we talk about the web layout and even mobile application layout, we mentioned how oh, there's this top bar, like a header, and it can have some button or something that helps you to navigate. You know, open up a menu or something. You have the title of your application, and you can even have some other buttons to the right side. And so material app represent or abstract this whole header as an app bar. And don't worry about trying to remember that. Now we'll get back to it. At the bottom of your screen, we also talk about how you can have a footer and you can have some buttons there to help people navigate. And that's your bottom navigation bar. We're not going to talk about drawers today, but um, I just want to quickly scroll through these set of things to show you all the things that come with material design. So we have the material app itself, which wraps up all these other widgets, which will, you can imagine, allow you to use the app bar and that bottom navigation and so on. And this guy here, scaffold. And if you try to imagine what a scaffold look like, it's essentially, think of it like a page. 
scaffolding takes care of, I think they should have, instead of calling it a scaffold widget, they should have just called it the page widget or well, screen would, would might have been overused, but maybe page widget, because really in your application, you have multiple pages or multiple screens, and this scaffold widget is what helps you to lay out that um, page. And it has all sort of, so we can click on this, and um, this is the exact same page here, and it says implements the basic material visual layout structure. This class provides API for showing drawers, snack bar and bottom sheets and so if you scroll on a little bit you can see this is what your scaffold widget gives you as a basic is a header the body and then some way to navigate down at the bottom or interact or take action those are, you can take off it as the footer and it's very simple widget to use and you don't have to try and focus on the documentation but if you just look at scaffolding widget here is your header here is your body, and then there's that bottom navigation, or it's not quite bottom navigation, but the footer. And we'll see um, the difference between ways you can do, um, put actions at the bottom of your application. So our goal for today is to create a application that display a page or our own page that looks like this that I have on my screen here. And so we'll see how we can use the scaffold widgets to do this. So, okay, so let's jump back real quick to our slides. So like we said in the previous um, section or previous video, that if you have a mobile application and you were to lay it out, you would have something like this that looks like, you know, you have this header and you maybe have some side navigation, you have body, you have footer where you can put some buttons. And we see that how the scaffold widget allows us to have define exactly this. Now, what are we going to be doing today is something much simpler where we're not going to be using all the different buttons in the header and the footer or anything like that. We're going to simplify what we're doing and say the scaffold widget gives us an app bar that represents the header. It gives us a body property and this bottom app bar. Now, we saw floating action button just now, but don't worry about that. Eventually, we're going to cover all that stuff, but we're just going to stick with this for today. So, okay, so now that we've sort of seen the lay of the land, and I, I, like I said, in my opinion, when you think scaffold widget, think page widget. If you sort of substitute that in your head, it's going to help you sort of make sense as you go uh, forward in using the app, the uh, material app widget. Because when we start talking about routing, you can see that we're just routing between widget that um, have that are scaffold basically. And if you think of them as pages, well, you just write in between page widgets. All right, so let's get into some coding. If we go to our command line and we have um, part one already. Now I realize that oh, um, the way I've been doing things where I keep creating a new uh, Flutter app each time is not gonna make it easy for when we start building on top of a previous example. So just allow me to do one thing from today and then hopefully this will set us up so that we can keep copying our application that, that, that we're using. And then what I'll do is just copy material app as part one. So from now on, this is how, this is gonna ensure that our, our application when it's built, it has the name material design, but we can still keep track of what we're doing. Um, technically, I really don't need to do this. I, I'm using Git, so all the versions are there, so you should be able to find them. But I find that given this different directories make it easier for people who are not using Git. I don't want to force people who are not use um, want to use Git to use Git just so they can get to the previous code. So let's call this guy um, this material app example here. Let's call it part two. And so the next time I'm just going to copy this example, so we'll be fine. And so today we're working with scaffold um, widget, and let's do basics, okay? Um, we can always come back and do a lot more with the scaffold widget, but we'll start off with the basics. So this is what I have, part two. Okay, so let's go to part two directory and let's do code. And so this is gonna allow us to start off exactly where we were um, the last time. And this is exactly where we left off. So let's build our application and run it. So I'm going to do for the iPhone 11 Pro, that is my simulator there. 
And so we're going to get back and see how to build this very same application. But for now, we'll just start over with simply um, the code we had from before. And what we should expect is we have this material app. It has a title. I told you the title is not what you're going to see uh, when the application is running, but rather when in Android, if you hold down the icon for the application, that's where the title is going to show up. Um, I'm not sure for iPhone where it's going to show up. We can always play with that and see, but that's not that important. Just know tell your material app, you need a title. Well, you should give it a title. Um, there was that way to take care of the debug banner. We turned that off, but if you want to have it there while you debug your application, just remove this line and then our own screen. So if we have an application, whether it's a web application or mobile application, you must have a landing page, right? Which is the first thing you see. So that is our own screen, our own page, right? And so we're using a container and the color blue. So we should just see just basically, yep, a blue application there, a blue screen. Okay, so let me change this and say, let's create a stateless widget. And I wanna call it um, home page. Okay, that's my own page. So my own page is this container that returns the color blue. So if I do this and bring this down here, I have the exact same thing as I had before, right? Like technically I can just copy this and I can do it like this. And so those two things are the same. So if I replace this container with simply my, uh, my own page here, then I should expect that my application shouldn't change. And I just save this and it should update. And I think if I click refresh, I should see that all my application look exactly the same. So I haven't done anything really. Now, like I said, I want this to be yeah, my own page, but I want to implement this own page using the scaffold um, widget. So instead of returning a scaffold widget, um, instead of returning a container, what I'd like to do is return the scaffold widget instead. So I'll say scaffold, and this is what I'd like to return. And I save that. And if I load my application to, let's say, save, or even if I refresh it by clicking this button, we don't see anything. Okay, but well, at least we didn't break our application. If you remember, this page that I told you about, the scaffold implements a page, right? Think of it as a page widget. What did I say? I say the app bar represents like your header for your page, right? So this is like a page. And so your app bar represents a header. We also have body, which is going to represent, well, the body of your app, of your page. And for now, we're gonna use bottom navigation, which is going to represent your footer. So if I put these there and I comment out these two for now, cause we're not gonna use them. And let's ask, what is it that we're gonna put in the header? If you remember, we typically put something like a title in the header. So what kind of field um, property is this? It's a preferred size widget. Well, Material went ahead and implement what the app bar should be for us. And so there's an app bar widget. And so if we do that and we save it we don't even have to put in anything else notice how i have an error a blue error that's the default color for material so we have this blue error now we can change the color of this we can say the background color is you know colors that let's say orange is what i use in my example and i can have the background for this be orange now, if you remember what I told you about our header is that we sometimes have a title. So let's look at some other things. Now we have actions. We're gonna get back to that later. We have bottom, blah, 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 but we have title. And so we can say our title is, if we look at the type of this field, it's a widget. So our title could really be any other widget. And, but usually we want it to be like text. So let's use a text widget and we can say, my home page as our title and if i save that you can see there we go my page as a title um what i like to do is probably pass in my title from here so i can say for example that since i'm de developing my home page i can say i have a string field so 
final because it doesn't change string title and home page constructor is title and you know what this is not optional so maybe this that title so something like that right semicolon but if you want to pass other things here we can put in other things that you might want to pass into your own page and so now if i take this drag it up here pass it in there for my own page object that i'm creating and then now for the for this text box i use this property from the class and so once again nothing has changed and i mean we can you know remove something here to make sure so we are indeed um didn't break we didn't break our application you can see we did not break it so there's our header we already have a way to define our header and there are many other properties in the app bar that we can use right we can do teaming and so on and a whole bunch of other things but notice at a minimum we, we are able to at least get our title in place okay so what about the body so if we look at the body property what type of property is that it's a widget again giving us the ability to do anything as our body so let's do something simple and just simply say this is my I don't know, landing page. This is my landing page, something like this. And so that's a widget. And so there you go. This is the body. But since it's a widget, we can do anything. So for example, we can wrap this in like a center widget to center it on our page. And we should see that oh, once this rebuild and update, there it is. And for text, we can do things like what style right and so we can do text style and there it is text style and we can do weight font weight and the font weight is bold for example and font size and we can do 32 for example and so if we save this and there we go this is the body for our widget um for our page and of course we can you know since this uh, is the body and it's a widget, we can set a background color for whatever we want to use. Now, we can also check out some of the other properties that we have here on the scaffold itself. And you can see that oh, if we want to set a background for the page itself, we can do that with background color, right? But we're, we're just using three properties for the scaffold. And that's the app bar to define our header, um, let me move this comment now here. And we're going to use the body here to define our body, which makes sense. And now we have our, so that's that. Well, before we continue, actually, um, we can have put several lines here. So we can say, for example, let's wrap our, we are, if we want to have multiple lines, we can say, wrap this not in a center widget but rather in a column widget and we can say for column we can say main access alignment and we can say let's center things with that and now we can get rid of the center widget by clicking there and then saying here and say remove this widget and now we have we could put multiple text widget or anything else that we like and so you can imagine us adding even more things and more lines, okay? Um, so that's our body. Finally, so we're gonna make this video nice and short. When it comes to our bottom navigation, let's uncomment that. And so what is this? This is just a widget, so it can be anything. So we can use a text widget, for example, and just say footer. And I spelled that incorrectly, so there you go, footer. And if we save, we should see down at the bottom here we have footer but it's off to the corner and that's okay um, we know how we can bring that to the center we can do something like a line and then do text that align center and if we save that let's save and so i want to bring this text up above here though 
in this line here more like it and so oh not there but oh well um so i'm not gonna fight with it so footer but we can barely see that but we don't have to use our own text box for um our footer we can actually use a bottom app bar and as you can see this is another widget that uh, material give us just like our app bar so instead of this so this should have probably been top app bar but oh well they call this bottom app bar and so now we can look at the properties of bottom app bar and of course we have this child as a widget so let's do that let's do child and let's do text for example and call it footer and let's save it and let's see what we get and there we go here's our footer well um we can also of course do um alignment so this is a text so we can do align again and so center and this is a little better than what we had before notice is above that line but we can also do things like set the color right and so here we can do colors that and i did purple colors that purple in my previous example and now we have something that looks like this um and it's very easy now for you to style the text right that's all i did before was style the text text that style and i can say font weight and font weight that bold and if you want you can give it you know different size and so on and so this is essentially the same application that i had before but all we have done is created an own page that we can pass its title to and our own page was implemented using the scaffold widget so let me close this up maybe we can look at it that way so body and so there we go there's our scaffold widget we're implementing our page we have our header as an app bar we have our body and we have our footer as a button navigation bar i want to end it here we're going to continue looking at scaffold but we're going to focus in the next video on this app bar what else can we do with app bar and you can go ahead and just start to take a peek and you can get an idea of some of the things you can do and then we'll come back and look at some of those other things that you can do with a scaffolding like with the bottom navigation and so on hopefully you're enjoying this if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that bell so you get notified when i post a video um, if you like what you're seeing thumbs up the video and take care have a great rest of the day bye